All right, what is up, you beautiful people, and welcome back to another round of Mecha Bellum. All right, what are we doing here? Elite specialist, aerial specialist. Aerial specialist with this setup is kind of funky. Rhino spec? Can I go aggro rhino spec? Oh my god, I haven't played an aggro game in a while. Let's do it. This, this, could, this could probably fail, like, spectacularly here. What are we against here? Stang Crawler. Cost control spec. Okay. Alright. Um let's do it. Uh let's run some aggro here. I'm gonna do that. Uh-huh. Do that. Do that. Let's see. Stangs are actually pretty good. I need something to clear stangs. I'm gonna need some arc lights, I think. Um let's go. Arc lights, maybe a little further back. Uh, maybe like right here, back here. Oh god! I think the arc light being back here should be okay. I think this should be okay. Kind of vulnerable to a missile though. Hmm. Got to leave at least two units of space. Otherwise, a missile would just dominate us. Okay, let's do it. Oh my god, he got more stings. Yeah, that's a lot of chaff clear on his part. Oh, my arc lights are a little slow to make contact. So I'm not able to put out a Mythbuster video just yet because I realized that there's actually so much that goes into a Mythbuster video. Uh, you guys have recommended me take it slower. I'm currently working on the arc light typhoon chaff clear video. Um, I'm going to test all the chaff clear units, including stings as well. Okay, taking down that is going to be very helpful. Hopefully I get to the tower first. Uh-huh. Okay, we take out each other's tower around the same time. Uh, my right flank is very vulnerable here. We're both sped up here. I think my arc light should make quick work of him. Uh-oh. That might be bad. Bam, 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 bam. Bam, okay. I need some longer range arc lights. You could also missile me. That could be kind of bad, actually. Um, ball stang, nano repair kit. Oh my god, missile strike. Missile strike is exactly what he's going to do here. Uh, I think I just missile strike like right around here. Stangs are pretty fast. Okay. Mm. What shall I do? What shall I do then? I think I will do one of these here. On this side. And I'll just put like iron dome. Double Iron Dome? I'm gonna double Iron Dome here. Um, and then maybe I could chap up a little bit more. Hmm. There we go. Mm, there we go. Hmm. Marksman? I, I get Rhinos next turn. I don't think I wanna get Marksman actually. Yeah, let's just end it here. Okay. Ooh! Okay. Okay, he bought he bought some tanks here. Um, okay. Tanks, eh? Tanks and the steel balls? I don't know about that one. Um, okay, well my iron domes didn't protect the crawler unit there, so we got like we got gimped pretty hard there. Um But I think my right side's actually gonna secure the bag. Boom! Okay, okay, speed it up here. Let's go. I'm not gonna do a lot of damage to him here. Uh, there we go. Going for a tank. Interesting. Tank. Typhoon. Wraith. Ah, guaranteed it's gonna be a Wraith coming in. Uh, if it's a Wraith coming in, I could probably send in a Typhoon. Um, the question is do I Typhoon in front? Or Typhoon like this. I could Typhoon like this. Uh, and Typhoon's homing missiles can kind of... They can kind of deal with the tank. 675, 4 homing missiles. That can kill off one tank each. Um, <clears throat> but that's kind of pricey. Because I would like a second Typhoon. Um... Uh, 
He's probably going to hit me with the Wraith. I will be quite honest with you. Because that is the anti-aggro counter here. Upgrade the Steel Ball. I think I will unlock a Marksman. And I'll have to put him in the back. Like far in the back. Like maybe like this. Um... I don't think I spend money on a missile. I think I do upgrade an arc light though, because an upgraded arc light is going to be a pretty good ROI here. Okay, there's the wraith. He's got the he's got the debilitating beam. No, he's, wait, he's got the extra battery, floating artillery array. Ah, he's going for DPS wraiths. Okay, got it. Uh, well, leveling up my steel balls is unnecessary to beat DPS wraiths. Um. Now, if only my guys can get on target here. Uh-oh. Actually, does a Typhoon beat? Oh, Typhoon does not beat the Wraith. Now, that's kind of bad. Yeah, the Typhoon's focus firing here. My one Marksman is protected by the barrier, the Iron Dome. Okay, there we go. Marksman under the Iron Dome here. He's not able to pierce it. I got my Rhino coming in. Photon Coat, Incendiary Bomb. Incendiary Bomb. That is badge for me. Could take a Lightning Storm. Screw it. Lightning Storm right here. If this is the case, I think I just, I just Rhino up on this side here. Um... Actually, what if I go Whirlwind Rhino and I invest in on it, like on this right side here? Um, that strike will probably fail in the beginning. Hmm. Hmm. I could do it actually. Like I could go Crawler right here and then Whirlwind Rhino right behind it. Um, oh, but that involves me getting Whirlwind, and I can get another Marksman here, put it behind the Typhoon. I've learned to put my guys a little bit further back, but let's see here. Okay, he's got an Iron Dome here. Okay, Lightning Storm. Ooh! Look at all those units getting destroyed here. Okay, that Rhino with the Whirlwind clearing those Crawlers. He's got a ton of tanks here just trying to fight me off. Um, Whirlwind Rhino is taking it by storm here. Uh, okay, he's got a single Wraith. Tanks are actually going to be a problem though. Um, floating Artillery Array. I need to get the Missiles actually. I think Missiles on the Typhoon would, uh, would, would do great work. There we go. Got the Flank, got the Lightning Storm. He didn't pick up a Lightning Storm. Interesting. Interesting. I thought he would have picked up like incendiary. Okay, he's get, he's getting a lot of tanks. Uh, mass produced. Underground threat could be a viable threat here. I think I need to guard my back. Um, he's getting a lot of tanks, so I should pick up a scorpion. Um, probably put it back here. Oh god. Upgrade the typhoon. Uh, I'm going to put a unit of crawlers here just to deal with any underground threats that pop up. And I think I can cash in here. Upgrade the Typhoon. Upgrade the Marksman. And if I were to drop something, I should drop this like right here. I think getting rid of the Stangs is key. Okay, he put a... Okay, he, put he invested heavy in that flank. Okay, there we go. Underground threat. My crawler is going to get pulled back to deal with his crawlers back here. Uh, he lost his stangs here. He's ready for a flank. I should probably sell my flank now, if that's the case. Because he's heavily invested there. He's got a ton of tanks. Okay, I got secondary chaff clear coming up. That's a, maybe too many tanks for me to handle. Um, that's definitely too many tanks for me to handle. Boom. Oh, God. Okay, speed it up, boys. Uh-huh. Boom, okay, tower down, tower down, tower down. Barely able to win that. 
barely able to win that. Holy underground threat there. Got my senior attack spec. Melting point. Ooh, melting point seems like a good option for him. Because he can burn through my shields. Um, fortress. I think fortress might be a good, good call for me. Uh, I think we sell this stuff here. So it's like field recovery, take the rhino back. Um, and I think I could lead, I don't know about lead, but I can like push forward with the fortress on this side and a fortress on this side. Uh, actually, would that make sense? Yeah. Do I want rocket fists? No, I think I want, actually, I think I do want rocket punch. Rocket punch on the fortress range on the scorpion and then what would i get more of i think i need some more marksmen because these guys are going to come right over here so it might be the case that hmm i might need some more marksmen here let's see do i level stuff up i think i do rapid resupply Level 3 Arc Light is actually pretty good. And then what does he have? He has cost control. Yeah, he's cost control spec and he hasn't built any extra stuff. So I think I just get extra armor. Okay. Anywhere on my flanks? Nope. Oh, he's got the fortresses too. Okay. Interesting. Okay, I got my rocket punch. Damn. Okay. Oh, that rocket punch here was wasted. Um, there we go. Uh-oh. Yeah, my rocket punch got wasted there. Um, I think I need my typhoons to have missiles, actually. Ah, my chaff clear is lacking. Uh-oh. Yeah, my right side is a bit weak. Uh, I need something to hold the flank on the right. And that's probably going to have to be like a melting point or something. Range spec, senior attack spec. Oh, God. I think I take the range spec here. Oh, yikes. Um, I think I have to upgrade this. Shield. Do I want shield? Oh, both his fortresses are going to be super strong. Um, hmm. Upgrade shield. I should just upgrade barrier on this. But I also need to do something about his right side here. Uh, I need some more chaff clear. I can't. I don't think I can pick barrier. Um, chaff clear. His tanks are very hard to deal with right now, and his fortress is actually really hard to deal with. Um. I'm gonna field recover this, sell that back. This, my right flank is super weak here. Mm hmm. And he's got a ton of fangs. If I level this up, what will it do? Just make the shield stronger. Hmm. I'm having doubts teching into marksmen here, but I think I might need them. I might need them. Let's see. I don't want to spend too much right now. I think I should go for a fortress. I mean, like a fortress killer. Okay, he didn't level up his fortress. Okay. Ah, you know what I need more of? I need some more chaff, too, of my own. And I think I definitely need the barrier on the, on the typhoons. If I don't have barrier on typhoon, it's a bad time. Actually, I can kind of deal with this fortress. Not not the most effectively though, but I definitely need some more backup here. My my right flank falling first is bad. I need like um like a another fortress or like a ball here, or something. Okay. Yeah. My right flank is definitely holding me back. Yes, I need to I need to strengthen my right flank. I think I just need a scorpion on the right, I think. One scorpion on the right could probably hold it up. Stormcaller. 
double overlord. Does he have a single answer to overlords? He does not. And I think the best place to put them is actually on the right flank. Okay. I know exactly what we're going to do, boys. Come on. Missile strike these nerds. Because he's like grouped up. These Mustangs all die to that. And then I go overlord, overlord. Uh, invest in the range enhancement. Invest in the barrier for the Typhoon. Uh, rapid resupply, I need more chaff. Rapid resupply, chaff, and I need the chaff to come through somewhat in the center. Like right around here. Uh, upgrade this. Uh, I would love to upgrade my fortress. Can't upgrade this guy. So I think the best thing to do is upgrade my attack. What did he take? Oh my god. Oh, he took phoenixes! Oh, sugar. Phoenixes can answer me quite well. Uh, but the barrier typhoons, I think, will be pretty good. And the four overlords here should be able to take on the wraith. Like, the wraith cannot deal with an overlord. Uh, yeah, level 2 wraith dies to these overlords pretty horrendously, but... Against Phoenix, I think I just gotta get some rockets, and we should be okay. Boom, boom. Yeah, the fortresses are so thick. He's done. He's done for, baby. I don't know why he invested all on one side. Let's go. The classic Overlord drop. Name a more iconic duo. Wujus and Overlord. Let's go, baby. These tanks got pretty up there, though. Like, I gotta say, those sledgehammers were pretty tanky by the end of it. Um, but I was controlling the early the early game pretty well. Um, this flank made him double down on this side, and that actually kind of messed me up a little bit because it ended up him being super strong and pushing in here. Um, but him on cost control spec and not upgrading the stats of his units just means that, like, you know, like I don't know, he's just going to be struggling most of the time. Uh, but yeah, Scorpion doing pretty good. I only needed one. Maybe I could have gotten that. Oh, Scorpion still dealt the most damage. Dang, that's crazy. Who dealt the second most? Is it this Typhoon? Yeah, this Typhoon does a ton of damage. I think the barrier here was pretty helpful. Because that's basically as strong as one Fortress Barrier. It's like 40, Fortress Barrier is 40,000. This one's 40,000 at level 4. And there's two of them, so that's pretty strong. And this one's like a 20,000, 20,000. And then this one's just 10,000, 10,000. So yeah. I needed some kind of barrier. I couldn't afford the fortress one. Honestly, I think I only got rocket punch because I was anticipating him getting a melting point because the fortress card showed up. But I guess melting point would not have made sense for him. I I'm like thinking 2-5-D. I'm like, if he thinks that I'm going to get a fortress, he's going to pick a melting point. But I, what I should have just done was like pick the barrier because barrier here would have kept like would have just made his tanks like have such a hard time getting through here. I made him spend an extra 100 supply on two missiles that actually never ended up being useful. Um, and these overlords, just four of them, just kicked his butt. Always get the range upgrade on the overlord, is what I have learned. Uh, I've got the range specialist. Yeah, he got range specialist too. I have senior attack, so like, yeah, he's getting bodied. If you guys enjoyed this game, be sure to leave a like. And until next time, I'll see you guys later. In the rear with the gear. The tires, let's light some fires! Need a light. They picked the wrong flight.